Vows. <laughs> it was early in the summer of 1994. <laughs> I was spending my days finishing grade six and my nights envying my brother because of his favorite, his favorite hockey team was doing so well in the playoffs. <laughs> it was during this period of time that another fa hockey fan entered our household, Dale Moose Donaldson, who seemed to have no team allegiance at all, from what I remember. <laughs> at least, that's what I thought, until he showed me his old Jets jersey. <laughs> it made my day. I also found it pretty fun to call an adult moose. It was a great thing, right? <laughs> from that point forward, Moose with his calm demeanor and kind heart became an increasing element in our lives. For someone to come into the situation of a single mom with two teenage boys, it seems like a pretty daunting task. Mom was always pretty certain about the way she wanted to raise her sons, but in his way, Moose managed to add his perspective into the mix, to the great benefit of Chris and I. Uh, Moose just always seemed to fit into our family like the missing piece in a puzzle. He soon became a fixture at our family gatherings, where he also seemed to fit in very well. In our home, he was, also, he was always teaching and guiding without ever, ever being too overbearing. I often think of the times visiting Connie and Ed's cabin, where Moose and I would spend hours cutting through the thick foliage of the driveway and having competitions on who could chop the most wood. <laughs> One image that will forever be with me is Moose suiting up to clean the barbecue after dinner in a straw hat and a bright yellow rain slicker found somewhere amidst the cabin's treasures. Yes, I have many fond memories of Moose. We all do. Uh, over the years, but one thing I always noticed, the most important thing was how much he loved my mom. That much has always been clear to anyone paying attention. Moose is a man of genuine feelings, which he wears on his sleeve. It's, it's the quality I admire most about him. Moose, uh, and I, I'm happy that he helped to teach me this and to be this 